All right, guys, I'm here with creator, author, and editor, Darren. How are you doing? Pretty good. Really looking forward to a great weekend. Fantastic. It is, it is such a great weekend as well. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. First day at Oz Comic Con. Yep. Uh, could you tell me what is Dark Oz all about? Okay, we're an Australian independent publisher. So we uh, create Australian comic books. Um, it's the, probably the biggest and best showcase of Australian talent you'll find. Uh, over 150 people have worked on the comics. So mostly they're anthologies, a whole bunch of short stories. Uh, we've got a couple of new one-shot comics coming out as well. Uh, what's the history of Dark Oz? When did it get started and uh, was it a big team or a small team? Well, as, uh, I created it myself back in 2009 and started, I, I had the idea and I started contacting a lot of different creators to come on board. It took uh, a year to get the first issue out, so the first issue came out in March 2010 and it's been yeah, rolling along ever since. Out of all the publications that we have here, what is the first one that you've actually um, sort of um, patronised or the one that you've actually created first? Uh, the very first issue of DK was this poster, just, this is the issue here. I, I, I don't really have many of that one left, I've only got about two copies, that's quite expensive now, very rare. Uh, but I've got work in every single issue you see, so all the comics, um, there's a lot of different writers and artists working on, but I write a lot of the stories, so I always have at least one story in every issue. Yeah. Um, so what type of themes are we looking at when you, when you think of Dark Oz? Okay, well, um, probably the flagship title is DK, the, uh, it's a horror comic. Um, so, you know, the 80s out of horror, aliens, zombies, vampires, monsters, serial killers, everything in between, a whole bunch of short, one-off horror stories, really cool comic. So it's probably best well known for, for DK. Uh, we've also recently launched Retro Sci-Fi Tales. This is a PG rated, so it's a bit more friendly. Some people just don't like horror. This has been selling almost twice as much as the horror comic. Everyone just loves it. It's full color, whole bunch of short stories again, amazing artwork, amazing creators working on it. And we've also just launched the uh, Vampire Sisters. They've got so they've had some short stories in DK, they're very popular, a lot of fans like them. So they've now got their own title and just some you know, amazing artwork. So Darren, what's some of the inspiration been when you've been creating these comics? Oh, well, I've grown up on comics since I was a kid, so um, I, I just love comic books. But probably the biggest inspiration of these, there were some, there were some uh, Australian independent comics in the early 80s and 90s, like Fantastic and Ink Spots, but... Um, a big inspiration is some of the old Warren comics, Creepy, Eerie, Vampirella, but also comics like Heavy Metal and 2000 AD. They're big influences, yeah. So it is, I know it's hard for some people to have a favourite, but do you have a favourite out of all the ones you've created? Ah, oh, every time I make a new issue, that becomes my favourite. We just, um, if you look at some of the early issues and look at the newer ones, there's a vast improvement. Like back in, the, when I first started in 2009, 2010, Pretty much no one knew me. It was hard to get creators to come on board. These days, I've been doing it for so long. I'm at all the conventions, so people know me. They come up to me asking, "Can we do a story in your comic?" And the quality just keeps improving, improving all the time. Every time a new issue comes out, it's better than the last. Yeah. You mentioned there's some artists that have been uh, shown in your work. Could you give us some names of some of those artists? Oh, if you look at the people who are here this weekend, a lot of people you're going to interview today in, in Artist Alley. A lot of these people have worked on the comics. We've got some really big names. Even some of the, the guests, you know, we've got Paul Mason, uh, Mark Sexton, Douglas Holgate, uh, Kurt Stone next to me. Uh, there, are, there are heaps and heaps of creators everywhere who worked on these. And a lot of these people work for Marvel, DC. They work for big movies as well, you know, Star Wars and Mad Max Fury Road, all sorts of stuff. A lot of these people, they work on my comics. Michael Dukovich and Franz Cantor, they've done the uh, Sisters comics. Just absolutely stunning artwork. So it's just. The quality is just so high, it's just, yeah, it's amazing. And are there any plans for any future uh, additions or any, anything you're working on at the moment? Well, we've just done a, um, a short prologue story for a, a new Australian movie. Um, there's a new film, Red Billabong, and it's just been premiered already. If you went to the uh, premiere, you got a special preview comic that was produced by Dark Oz. So um, it was only a little five page story. Uh, we've got a few more projects like that in the work. I can't say too much about it yet, but pretty exciting things. Like I'm um, talking to some other similar projects with some other people. Plus there's always new comics in the work. We've got some other anthologies and there's some other one-shot titles coming along. Because um, I also took these comics in July this year to San Diego Comic-Con. I was the only Australian exhibitor there. 
Um, so like, uh, and they loved it over there. You can imagine it's a very expensive trip, so I'd like to do another one. I'd like to go back to America because they liked it. Anthologies don't do too well there, so we're going to try and develop some more one-off, one-shot ongoing titles. Um, and so that's going to be the aim for the future, to try and get a bigger market, yeah. Anyway, Darren, keep up the good work, and uh, yeah, we'll check you around later on. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Indy.